What's up, everybody? Happy Hodges with the Happy Hodges family. We are on our way to go pick up our perch for our aquaponics system, which we have in the basement. And stay tuned because we're going to show you the whole system later on after we put the fish in, and I'll go over how it works and what we're going to put in there. Guys, we are here picking up the perch. We gotta wait in line, but that's okay. We got 10 of them to start with, so they're starting off between four to five inches. So my research says that they should be a year old at this point. So males will be ready to spawn next year. Some females may be ready, but they all should be ready the following year. So hopefully, if everything goes well, we'll have some baby maybe perched next summer here they are guys our tin perch I'm not gonna be here very long because we gotta get them back to the house but all right guys so here is the aquaponic system and Lorelai. Lorelai say hi. hi all right so take a step this way sweetheart and here we have our bag of fish there's eight now because two of them died on the trip here we have them behind we're not gonna show them but we, the water was at 59.9 degrees. The water in the bag is at 58.3, 58.6. It's kind of fluctuating, but it's, it's still, they're pretty much the same. So we're just going to let them stay there for about 15, 20 minutes. I'm actually going to the hardware store and get some stuff that we still need. Um, but until then, they're going to stay in that bag. So we have the oxygen stone in there, the air stone plugged in over there. Basically, the way the system is going to work for those who don't know what aquaponics is, is the fish are going to live in this tank down here. I'm going to put a light in here and give them some light. They're going to defecate in the water. We have a water pump over here. It's going to suck the fish poo up into this system. Into this bucket up here. Which we open. We have a burlap sack in there. We have a burlap sack in there. That will filter out the actual fish poop and hold it in place so it doesn't get into the system here. The nitrogen from, I'm sorry, the amino, ammonia from the urine will go into the water here. The plants that we plant in here will absorb the nutrients from the fish waste. It will go down this tube here. Right there, it will go down in there. A bed you burn your broccoli and lettuce this time around. So, in here, now you can actually put fish directly into this water as well. Um, if we get snails or anything like that, any type of bugs that are in there, we'll get some red, red eared fish. There are pan fish that you can eat as well. But they'll go in here and they will eat the snails or any other bugs that get in there. Um, we can also put some crawdads in here, um, some other filter feeders. That will eat the algae that will grow, that is already starting to grow, so I'll probably have to get some crawdads for this. Um, so the water in our well right now is sitting at 59.9 degrees. I don't know if you guys can see that, but you see how close they are to one another. Almost I think they're within two, two degrees of one another. Once they're within two degrees of one another, I think they'll be... Good to put the fish in there but we don't want to do it too fast shock the fish and kill all of them i think there's one dead in there already so oh now i dropped down the this is celsius i don't want celsius there we go still 59.9 i think we're gonna that's where it's at so we're gonna switch it over we're going to go ahead and introduce the fish to the system now the water this water is actually cleaner than this water which i anticipated so we're going to just tilt this sideways here. Let some water get in the bag. Now let some of this water get in the bag so they can kind of get used to it. And then, I'm just going to give 
just a little tilt here, kind of direct the fish out into their new home. Make sure we got them all out. Looks good. All right. So we have all the fish out. That bag over there. There are fish in here. I don't know if you can see in there. But there are fish in here. Oh, grab a flashlight real quick. Shine it down in there. There's one over here. There's one there. There's a couple there. Just swimming around in there. So, yeah, a couple fish in there, and they are good to get. And we have oxygen coming in in three different ways, building up three different ways. We have our air stone in there, which is bubbling. Then we have our water hole over here, where it falls into it falls into our our bucket here. And then up here from our filter. So oxygen is being created here in this waterfall, here in this waterfall. Again here with with it swirling in there. And then our air stones. So we have all types of oxygen being pumped into this water. So I need to get an oxygen meter to really tell me what the oxygen count is in here. But we could probably raise trout in here. A little clear water, we could definitely raise trout in here. So might be if I can find trout eggs. You guys know of anybody online? Selling them in Indiana, northern Indiana, or southern Michigan, let me know. I will definitely buy trout eggs. Um, if we can't find trout, we're definitely going to do white bass. We're going to build another one of these tables. I'm going to show you guys how to build one of these tables. It's really simple, really cheap. If you guys want to do this at your own house, you can do it outside. I don't recommend doing it outside if you live north in the northern part of the United States like I do, or if you guys live somewhere cold in the world, um, unless you guys can eat it, um, and you guys have winter vegetables to grow. We live north, so we're doing this inside in our basement. We'll also have an outdoor garden, growing some different things, different places. So, so we have our mealworms, 100% natural, select treats for chickens. So typically you would feed chickens with these, but we are going to use these to feed our fish until we get our earthworm farm going. Um, we've got 500 earthworms coming. It takes about three months for that to double. Um, so every three months it will double. But... We'll have this in the meantime. 22 bucks at uh, Tractor Supply. So, not an endorsement, just saying this is where I got it from. Let's see if they want to come up and eat at all. So, these are pellet fed fish. There was one coming up. There's another one. We're checking it out. So we're going to leave this in there for them, see if they want to, we'll see if they come back for them. Not really interested in the mealworm yet. Like I said, these were pellet fed fish from Jones Fishery. They stocked ponds, but they stocked us today. So, alright, well, we'll feed them again tonight if they haven't eaten this stuff. Or if they if they have eaten this stuff, we'll feed them again tonight. If they haven't, well, then they'll have this. So this little guy, here we go. That little guy came right up to the top there. I don't know if you guys saw him. We got a couple hanging out down there. We got one, two, three, four. There's four of them over here. They don't seem to be hanging out over by the pump. So maybe it's something about the pump they really dig. Yeah, they're all over here. <laughs> all right, guys. So we are going down here to check on the system. I need to clean up down here still. But here it is in all its glory. So we still have a few holes we need to fill. This one, we're just going to plug the holes. We're going to leave. These have tomatoes and green beans, I believe. Yes. We have spinach all the way over. We're going to fill this all up with spinach here cabbage which I don't know how well it's going to do I haven't really looked up we just had cabbage seeds and yeah you can see the tops of a little bit from here and some dirt but it is what it is cabbage and broccoli in here I know broccoli is pretty good in this system then we have strawberries back here we have spring 
spring harvesting strawberries, and then we have summer and spring harvesting strawberries here, and then we have a kiwi tree. Now, kiwi tree will get transplanted into another table that will fill with hydro stones. Um, we also noticed that this water is starting to get a little, a little slimy, so I'm online looking for freshwater prawns. We're going to put those in the top here. We're also going to put them in the filter bucket, poop bucket. And that slimy, that algae, they'll clean all that up, they'll eat all these leftover worms that get up through here, they'll eat all that up. So hopefully we'll have those next weekend. For the following weekend, you know, it looks like it might take a little bit to get shipped here. With Jones, Fisher does not have them. Um, once, I think we'll just stick with those. I was thinking about getting regular sunfish, uh, not sunfish, I'm sorry, <laughs> red ear panfish, but decided against that. I think the prawns would be the better way to go here. Um, we have lost four fish, unfortunately, so I've been cleaning this out throughout the day because it kind of built up. Um, definitely got to hand crumble their food right now so we get the worms and then we're going to blend them and just put them in here. My thermometer broke too somehow. It's not breeding, so... I'm going to get a water heater for this because the prawns need at least 65 degree water. This water stays at 59.9 right now, so slightly cold for them, so we're going to bump the heat up for them. It will, perch will be fine, and actually probably be a little bit better for the perch, and then we can drop that temperature when we harvest the prawns. Um, we can drop it down real low, drop it down to the 50s, and then bump it back up to get the fish to the perch to spawn when they are ready to spawn in about a year and a half. Hopefully two years, or maybe a little sooner, I mean a year, hopefully a year, not two years, but, yeah, I don't think you can see any of the fish right now, oh, there's one right there, coming up to eat, they really like to just swim around the bubbles, get all that oxygen, so, I don't see any more dead, floating, or just belly up fish in here, I see a lot of them just hanging out around the bubbles, Really getting that oxygen. They have been feeding more, thankfully. So, here's the system, guys. Like I said, if you like it, hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. Um, have any questions, hit me up. I'm not an expert at any of this, but I will give you the information I do have, any of the tips or tricks I am using. Yeah, so, like I said, stay tuned. We are going to keep you guys updated on all of this. So, like I said, strawberries are what I'm looking forward to the most, I think, and the perch. But it's going to be a while for the perch. These strawberries should be ready. We have the one light right now. I'm going to hang two more lights, LED lights I have out in the garage. I'm going to hang those from the ceiling. I was thinking about building something, but I decided not to do that. If I do decide to do that, obviously I'll show you guys how to build one of these tables. They're not very hard. They're pretty cheap to build. It's just two by fours and some marine grade plywood, epoxy, PVC pipe, um, three fourths, three quarter, three fourth quarter inch, and two inch PVC. Really easy. Drill some holes, epoxy it all up, and it's good to go. Don't do what I did. Don't drill a hole up here. That's why it's taped. So, I'll get these holes plugged up tomorrow. I'll, I'll get some more rock wool and get these holes plugged up. So, alright. Well, until next time, guys, happy adventures.